Oh, well, I hope everybody that's watching this video get prepared to be depressed. Um, get your covers, get your blankies, get your whatever you want to call it, nigga. Just get your, get your stuff, okay? Because my man Rod Wave didn't drop the album. We're going to react to the whole album. Now, I tried to do this on Apple Music, but apparently it didn't drop on Apple Music yet. So, yeah. Also, another thing. I don't want to talk too much, you feel me? Because this is about to be painful. You feel me? So, yeah, make sure you just sit back and relax. And, oh, yeah, one more thing. Follow your boy on IG. Hit the like button. Subscribe because this video is going to take some time to edit. And also, one more thing. I do have to chop up this video. I might say that in the beginning. But, yeah, I do have to chop up this video. I'm not trying to get copyrighted or blocked. Anywho, let's go ahead. Turn on the red LED lights. <laughs> let's do this, man. What I'm trying to do? Let's get into the video. It just seemed like you real angry. You know why I'm mad? Let me tell you why I'm mad. I'm mad because everybody on these records lying. Everybody lying. Everybody is this big E-boy. Everybody is these hardcore gangsters. Hold up. When you hear that, cut the LTNT. It's a banker. Uh, this a banker. It's gonna be a banker. This one right here, I don't know if this will go have my had me going crazy, but I know it's this one Pacific song on this album that I just know I can't wait to get to it. But I believe it's called Moving On. Oh yeah, that one I I just know it's gonna be a hit. Like real talk. You feel me good? You can't feel you anyway. Talk to a run. Talk to run. You can't feel my pain. But this ain't for you anyway. Man. Bro. People don't be knowing what you be going through, man. Look, man. I'm speaking in this video, bro. People don't be knowing what you be going through half of the times. They think everything is just all edy, edy, edy. You feel me? Depression is a real thing, bro. A lot of people go through this stuff for real. People don't be feeling your pain. They don't. They don't at all. They just think because you put a smile on every single day to think you good. But in reality, bro, there's so much stuff that's going on in life. And you not really good, bro. You not. For real. <laughs> Before you judge me, go back to the fucking beginning. <sighs> Let me turn on light real quick, man, so y'all can see the pain in my face, man. <sighs> Boy, Rock. <sighs> this man be speaking, bro. This man be speaking nothing but facts. Before you judge me, make sure you go to the beginning. Before you understand what I've been through, man, you before you even start to judge me on, you feel me, on my presence and this and that, make sure you go to the beginning to see what I've been through. When I was grinding, I was just minding my business, man. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm grinding on YouTube, minding my business, staying out the cut. You feel me? Bro, this man, Rob, be speaking, man. Back to depression mode. Hey, nigga, be speaking. Please, nigga, let my color grind saving every kitchen cook a half a that's another one. Ain't do no hating. I was waiting patient just to get it, bro. Y'all people need to stop hating on the next person. Bro, you supposed to be uplifting them, bro. Stop hating on another man. Just because they got something, bro. You grind to get the same thing or you grind to get something better, man. Real tall. You can't keep hating on the next person just because they got something that you want. Stop hating, bro. Just grind to get it. Real tall. Be patient. God timing is always the right timing, bro. That's how it is with these reactions, bro. Say what you want about me. I don't care if I don't like a song. I don't like a song, bro. People be in the comments talking about, bro, you don't like this song. You need to open up your mind. Bro, I'm not changing myself for no nigga, man. I don't care, bro. Speak your stuff. Right. Wait, this is why I mess with this man. Only artists I listen to nowadays, bro. I don't really listen to Polo G. I don't really listen to no other artists, bro. Uh, Kim, King Von, I don't listen to no other artists but this man, Rod Wade, because I'll be in my feelings, bro. Real Still love the hood, but they hate when that cheddar come. It's crazy. Come on, man. Alright, so this is what we gonna do, man. Are right, you feel me? I never react to a whole album before. I'm feeling this song. This song right here, straight, straight. What am I? Am I in the net? In the words of Duke, man, straight business. This song right here was hard, bro. It got me feeling some type of way, man, because it's so factual. I don't know this shit, you know. Let me. 
it now and then I hear it and I'll be hard. Never say forever if scared to be alone I left but when the chase Oh Don't never say forever if you plan on giving up Man I gotta hit that one more time, bro, just to catch it, to, just to catch it, bro, because I just know it's some fire. Look, never say forever if you're scared to be. Never say forever if you want to give up so easily. <sighs> Tokyo, Rob, bro, you is going straight crazy, bro. Kill him. <laughs> Bow. I don't even know what I just did right there, bro. That's how you know a nigga is sad, bro. When a nigga is sad, they start doing random sounds. Oh man, Rob, bro, you got me. <sighs> this man. Alone, I left because you, you left. Said you be in the house. I've Sorry. He says sorry, but I'm not sorry. <sighs> bro, Rob Wave is speaking straight business, man. These niggas don't know. Hmm. Bro, this man, Rod Wade, bro, I promise you, one of the GOATs, man. This man is a straight legend, bro. If, if you can't get your nigga in, look, if you a female and you watching this, you can't you can't get your nigga to show any emotion, play some Rod Wade, man. That nigga go bundle up like this, bro. <laughs> I promise you, bro, straight business. <laughs> Let me stop, man. I came so all in. Alright, so look, we got that song. Uh, that song right there, 9 out of 10. Straight like that, 9 out of 10, bro. I mess with that song heavy. <laughs> My man said he didn't even do his taxes, bro. Stop playing with Rob, I'm, bro, I'm not gonna lie. When it came to Rod Wave, bro, this man would literally drop a song like every other couple months, bro. I really thought he was just falling off. I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, I still was listening to his old stuff. You feel me? I've been pro so many times. I know I feel my <laughs> Real nigga mode. <clears throat> it's, too many it's too many females watching. Get in your real nigga mode. All right, but yeah, like I was saying, man. You feel me? Um, um, bro, like, I, I mean, I thought this man fell off. I really did. But it seemed like this man just been grinding. He been holding back this album. He been grinding, bro. Real talk. And one thing I do like about Rod Wave, he speaks on his grind in his songs, bro. So it motivates other people that's grinding to do what he doing. He just motivating other people, telling them, like, bro, grind. He was at the bottom one time. We seen that video when this man was beating on the lockers, rapping and stuff, bro. Probably nobody back then didn't believe in him. Now they looking at him like, oh, man, this my this my favorite fat dude, bro. Real talk. I mean, favorite fat rapper out here. Somebody beat the homie shooting up. One day I'm be able to say that. Tap truck. Hit him up on. Wait, cause we come from nothing in the world right tears fall remember days i used not polo g band bro not polo g doing it too gave you a second chance and you left again bro that's why i don't believe in that second chance though bro real talk but also i stopped believing in relationships bro but on a serious note i don't believe in that second chance bro because people if they did it once they go do it again bro they cheat once you th you're not gonna think they go cheat again bro you think they really learned their lesson they just felt bad so they just like i gotta do something you feel me like for all my females stop giving these dudes second chances bro they go keep hurting you bro us us dudes bro let me let me let me put y'all into a, a dude's perspective us dudes do not really be like some of us we do want y'all like i really want a female to settle down with a lot of dudes only want you for the moment and then they lose feelings and they go on this generation ain't no relationships gonna last bro we are in a generation where people do not care bro these relationships is not gonna last stop giving these dudes second chances after they cheat one time after they done mess with your cousin or anything bro so i give them second chances bro they gonna keep doing the same thing they've been doing and that's just simple like that on a real talk <laughs> hey i've been watching dude dennis a lot lately let me just chill out hello the wonder world Look, before we even move on to the next song, he said, be that all you could be or you go star, bro. That's real talk, bro. Keep grinding, bro. If you stop grinding, you just go star, bro. That's why I'm grinding, bro. I've been posting every single day. Every single day. I wish I could post. like I could be posting like six, seven, seven, eighteen thousand videos a day, but I also have a nine to five job. But at the same time, ain't no excuses, bro, when it comes to this grinding, bro. So that song right there, 10 out of 10, bro. I got it. He battling too many challenges. <laughs> what the f why is he speaking to me? 
Too many ups and downs to feel like I can't balance it, bro. It would be too much stuff that be going on in niggas' lives, man. Niggas don't be feeling like they can balance everything, bro. It's too much stuff, bro. And people don't be knowing what you be really going through, bro. And sometimes it don't feel like you got people on your side, bro, because they just smile and sit there and cry in your face, bro. If you a real friend, then you know when somebody is really down. It's always something behind that smile, bro. That's why if you're a real friend, you know when a person is real smiling, when a person is not really smiling, bro. You will see it in their face, bro. <sighs> so many things. I feel like I can't balance it, bro. Like, oh, wait, man. Some artists and a fall, y'all rapping pain change. Oh, I hope you don't think that I got changed. That's what made me change. That's real talk, bro. Because not, bro, people be thinking money be changing other people. Yes, it do. But half of the time, bro, when a person cut you off, when they become rich and famous, it's because, bro, you wasn't really there for them when they was down, bro. You just act like you was there. A lot of people, I realize a lot of my homies, a lot of my so-called homies or a lot of my friends, my so-called friends, whatever you want to call it. I'm be grind on YouTube, but they don't watch the videos. And how I know they don't watch the videos because people be asking me, like, oh, dang, when you start doing this, bro, you would have known if you caught up with the channel, bro. And I'm very entertaining, so I feel like, bro, they just not supporting you for real. So when I get rich and famous, not... In them out my life, I don't want them thinking that all oh, oh, money changed Jalen. Money ain't changed me, bro. You changed me. I just had to think and come to real uh to realize that these friends that you have in high school, bro, they not really your friends. COVID done showed me that, bro. A lot of people not here for you for real. So you need to get them out your life from now. So when you become rich and famous, you could boss up on them and be like, yeah, you should have been, you should have stayed with me when I was down. Now that I'm up, what's up? Real talk. <laughs> I just said that to one of these dudes that wanted a shout out on my channel. I said, ain't no love, ain't no hell, bro. You in this by yourself. Think about it. Life is like a boxing ring, bro. You in this by yourself. Ain't no tag team, none of that, bro. You in this by yourself. It's all up to you, bro. It's either you fight for your life. It's either you do what you got to do in order to become successful or you're going to keep depending on that person to make you become successful. When you can't depend on somebody else to make you become successful, it's all up to you, bro, because everybody, this is all by yourself, bro. And I realize me grinding on YouTube, a lot of people not going to support you. A lot of people will support you. A lot of people will say they support you, but not really support you. You see what I'm saying? Bro, I'm light-skinned, bro. Come on, y'all. Y'all know I'm in my feelings right now, man. Y'all know I'm in my feelings. Ain't no jumping up and down, man. I'm in my feelings, bro. I'm hurt. Like, I'm really, like, dead serious. Like, I done shed a tear, bro. I done shed a tear. You feel me? Not yet. I'm, I'm saying I'm going to shed a tear, okay? <laughs> but, nah, for real, man. You in this by yourself, bro. Ain't no love in, Ain't no love for none of that, man. Homies keep your arms just some niggas who... <laughs> ain't got no... Ops. Niggas just mad that I met. <sighs> oh, bro. Bro. Oh, Rod, wait. Why are you speaking like this, man? Ain't got no ops, niggas just mad that I made it. It's funny and fascinating how your own family hate. I can't, I can't, I can't relate to that because my family don't hate on me. I can't relate to that. You feel me? So I can't say, I can't go crazy with that because I can't relate because my own family, they all support me, bro. They all support me. They might, you know, they say they support me, but, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of them don't even watch my videos for real. But, you know, they say they support me. So, I mean, family is family, bro. Either way, go, my family don't hate on me. Like, they, they want me to succeed. They just probably don't watch the stuff that I post on the internet. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. I got a list of all these songs alone, man. It's, bro, it should be, bro, it gotta be. <laughs> bro, we on to the next song, man. The last song, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the last song. I'm sorry, y'all. I started to cry a little bit. I started to, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But the last song, 10 out of 10. Here? I can already tell with this song right here, it's not really like a pain type of song, you feel me? Invisible Scar, I can tell this. I don't know what, I don't know, like, I'm not really getting that, you know, that pain vibe from this one right here, you feel me? But I'm still stuck on that last song, bro, because that last song got me, you feel me? But yeah, I don't know, bro. Um, Alright, so let me go, go ahead and go to the next one, but that song right there, um, I get it like a 7 out of 10, bro. Come and get me. I just want to get in my car, fill it up with gas, and just go far, man. Bro, this stuff really be hitting, but it be hitting even more when it's coming from another person. 
Like, it hits when you think about it, but then it hits more when another person going through the same thing that you're going through, and you're just like, dang, bro, real talk. I'm going through that same thing where I just want to get in my car, put a lot of gas in, and just go far. A place that's not even, I don't, I just want to, I don't even want to look back, bro. Like, I just want to go far. I don't care if I end up at, like, you know where I stay? Bro, what I mean by far, I'm talking about literally Indiana because Indiana is far itself. Like, Indiana, dude, now, look, I live in Chicago, so Indiana is right next door. But, bro, when I tell you Indiana, Indiana is so long, bro, you would take a whole, a whole six hour nap, you'll wake up and you still in Indiana. So basically, my long trip would just be to Indiana because man, I'm telling you, it's too long, bro. You, you feel like you never get out of Indiana, boy. I ain't gonna make take you ten hours just to get to Kentucky. But it's crazy, bro. Fill up my car, like I'm not ready to die. You feel me? He said he's not ready to die like Biggie, bro. I'm not ready to die. I say I say Biggie because he big and he big. That's crazy, bro. Fat fat niggas arrivals. You feel me? That's, no, fat nigga affiliates. Let's get it. No, it's crazy. He got everything that he dreamed of, but he still can't find no peace. Let me tell you this. I'm going I'm to tell you, like I said, this ain't, a, this ain't no Christian channel with the woo. The reason why you can't find no peace right away, I don't know your religion, I don't know, but just trust me. Turn to God. Go to Jesus. You feel me? Believe in him. Ask him for peace and guidance. I promise you, bro. Because this is them between being. Come on, tweaking. Somebody in front of my house, man. Oh, maybe I'm tweaking. But, uh, no, real talk, though. Like, you know, people always say they can't find no peace, especially famous people. They can't find no pieces because it's them between being, you know, um, uh, it's the difference between being physically, like, up there to the top like at the top but then at the same time i know what i'm trying to get at but i don't know what i'm trying to get at you feel me let's just play the damn song but y'all know what i'm trying to get at bro like it, it's a difference between being successful the way rod wave is or being the successful way where you have peace and all this you feel me and that comes with just knowing god and jesus bro just knowing believing in them bro you can have that type of peace or you could just be you could just be successful and then not have no peace and still have problems in your life. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah. Lord is heaven real. Why did you kept us here? He he got us here because we all serve the purpose on this earth. Once we done serving our purpose, then we can go meet the Father. That's why we are here. That's why he kept us here. And then at the same time, you know, when people say that, I feel as if we deserve this, bro. We don't want to start this sinning, bro. You know, Adam and Eve ate the apple, but then that just brought sin into human. Now, we living for the world, bro. We living for the world. Do we all really deserve to go up to heaven? All of us probably had sex before marriage. All of us lie. All of us done did type drugs. All of us done did all this stuff. Do we really deserve to go into heaven? Like, yes, bro. Lord is real. Heaven is real. Do I know that for a fact? Like, have I been up there? No, I haven't. But like I said, it's in the Christian channel, but, you know, I'm just saying. What if I say all right, so that next, the next song, you feel me? That song right there, ten out ten. Can keep these haters off of my own planet. Look, I made it out. Basically, he's saying everything that his mama done put him through, everything that they done been through. He could be hating his mom right now, but yeah, he still came back and saved them, bro. Still care for his mom, still love her, but everything that she done put him through, everything they done been through, you would think that he hate her. And some of these people do be hating their mama because everything that they that she put them through, and sometimes everything that they just been through, it's like, damn, mom, like you don't love us, you feel me? And sometimes it be like that though, and I can't relate to that because you know my mama always kept it down, man. You know I I, I done gave my mama hell for real, and you feel me? Like I done I done did so much stuff in my like younger years, and you feel me? My mama still made it away. She was a single parent, still made a way, still made a way. Taking a bus, taking me to school, gave my grandma her car. And was taking a bus with her son. You feel me? So I, I just thank my mom for everything. And when I make it, I promise you, I'm gonna come back to this video. When I make it, I promise you, I'm gonna give my mom the world. God willing, I can honestly do that. Can't believe all the shit I was. I don't know if he's talking about a girl. I apologize to you, like his mother. But if he is, bro, that's a real spill. Everything that I put my mom through, man, I apologize, man. I done had her come up to the school and all types of stuff, getting to fight, just all types of just drama, bro, in my life. And I'm just, I just, I'm sorry. You feel me? It just, oh, 
Alright, so now that song, I get that. I get that like a, bro, that was a 10 out of 10 for real. 10 out of 10. This whole album based like a 10 out of 10, bro. It's a different had me cry. It be the humming, bro. That humming will get to you, bro. It's just that, hmm. Because you already know you finna feel something, bro. That, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm all off rhythm, but it's all cool, man. Yeah, but I made him angry. Can't be no fool, my let me tell y'all something, bro. For bro, if I open up to you about my pain and let you in, bro, this man said he opened up his pain and let the world in. Cause you know he talk about his pain. Now he let everybody into his pain. Now we see what this man really be going through. But if I open up and tell you about my pain, bro, and you actually walk out of my life, bro, man, it's gonna be some hatred towards you. But at the same time, me being a Christian, I, I'm still love you. I'm gonna still love you at the end of the day. It's just the fact that because Christian, when you're a Christian, you gotta love each other, man. No matter what it is. But like I said, this ain't a Christian channel. We ain't gonna get into too much spiritual things. See, I believe what y'all believe. I believe what I believe. But I'm just saying, bro. If I open up to you about my pain and you walk out of my life, man, we got some problems, bro. We got some problems. At the bottom, just take care. How the hell do you hate on somebody with so much income? I take your mom and drum off the ground, mommy. That's right. First, one, Alpha B, he love his kids. That's real man activities. Second, we never see this man ride waving no drama, bro. He just worry about these commas. Commas. You get commas, bro. Not not dollar commas. This man is getting commas. You feel me? He worry about that. He ain't worry about this, all these other niggas and stuff, bro. He getting his money. Hey, Wait a minute. Bro, I've been saying kids a lot in this. He got kids? I never knew Rob, bro. If he had kids, I never knew he had kids. Uh, nine. nine out of ten. Straight, bro. I am not even gonna say it. Y'all already know what that is, man. Nine out of ten, bro. That song was just... What, bro? Rob Wade just need to make a whole hour song, bro. No cap. These females really be out here being greedy, bro. Grimy, greamy, whatever you want to call it, bro. They be out here. They be thinking they loyal you this and loyal you that, loyal you this and loyal you that. Bro, have a time, nine times out of ten, bro. If you think your female loyal you right now, let me tell you, my nigga. She's not loyal you, bro. And it's just it's just a fact. I mean, some of these females, don't get me wrong, some of these females could be classy. But the generation we live in, bro, a lot of these females are just out here to have fun and mess with child dudes and say that your PP small and say all types of negative things about you because these females don't care. They don't think dudes be hurting. They don't think dudes be in pain. That's why y'all females be such in pain. That's why us dudes, that's why we hurt y'all hearts. That's why we break y'all hearts so many times because y'all done broke us so many times. So when y'all breaking us so many times, y'all lead us on to just break y'all hearts. I mean, why not? You feel me? Why not? Y'all want to break our hearts? We break y'all hearts. We not finna sit up here crying this and that and do this and that and simp over you while you out here messing with our homies. Nah. And half of the time, y'all females be thinking y'all be slick trying to mess with our homie, bro. We recommended you to the homie. Y'all didn't just say, oh, let me go to his homie. No, we recommend you to the homie. Half times out of ten, our homie got to you. And y'all probably tapping on snap. Uh, not his homie trying to talk to me. We recommended you. We recommended you. You was just a recommendation. Like on YouTube, use a recommendation, bro. I gave you a 9, nine out of 10. Now it's his turn. Now he gonna write you and pass you to the next one. Simple as that. Go with no chill for a rich nigga. She just won't. Right away, what you trying to say? Don't rich niggas be niggas. But they got paper. Because some of these rich dudes be some straight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I was trying to stop cursing. So, but look, some of these rich be some. You feel me? Y'all get Dumb it. girl dream. Real country girl, but she got city girl dreams. Facts, bro. Yeah. For the big one. That's another thing. These females be materialistic, bro. Y'all gotta watch out, bro. If your female just if she all she do is rock Gucci, Louis, this and that, bro. Sometimes, bro, you gotta look at a female like that, like, bro. She only rocking this type of stuff, bro. She's definitely materialistic. She ain't finna go shop in no Sheen where the clothes like three dollars, four dollars. She ain't finna shop at Burlington. She ain't finna shop at no. You feel me? If she wearing these expensive fashion over dresses, these expensive uh Burberries and red bottoms and all types of stuff, bro. She materialistic, bro. She's for the streets. She get her out of here, bro. Cause then she gonna want you to spend that money on her. And she got all this stuff on, bro. You come home with a a twenty thousand, a two a two thousand and five like Camaro. I don't know a two thousand five car, bro. She ain't gonna want that because, bro. 
just because you got money, you don't want to spend your money because you're trying to save save money. She know you got money, but she wants you to spend all this money on her because she materialistic. That's exactly what Rod Wade trying to say, bro. Let that shit ride. Look at this, bro. Go to the comment. Why are you deep? My nigga Duke in the middle, bro. Stop. Come on, bro. I just seen the picture. I'm just like, ah. This is I've been trying to say that for the longest. Money can't buy your happiness, bro. You could be the rich man on you could be the richest man on the planet. Money ain't gonna make you happy. Money just gonna cause you more problems. Money, more money, more problems. Simple as that. The richer you get, the more problems you will have. Simple as that, bro. But if you turn to God and you turn to Jesus, bro, I promise you, your problems, you're gonna still have problems, but it's gonna be less problems. You feel me? Hey, just give it a try, bro. Give it a try. Don't say something. Just give it a try. Bro, this man Rod Wade go through more than we know. This man be putting on the show for us in these videos and all this and that. But this man go through way more than we know, bro. That's how it be sometimes. People go through so much and you don't even know about it, man. That song right there, 10 out of 10. And I like how he said money can buy your girls because money can definitely buy your girls, bro. As long as you got money, bro, you would get every female that you dream of, bro. I promise you. Look at little Baby. No hate and stuff. Look at him. I don't even want to hate on him, bro. I'm not going to call him ugly. I ain't calling him none of that, bro. Just look at little Baby and see all the females that he got. Look at little Uzi. Look who he pulling. Look at Rod Wade. Look who he pulling. Money will buy you girls, bro. Get you some bread. You can get every female that you want. If that's all you want in life is females, get you some money, bro. Start stacking your bread. Money will get you any female you want. Now, real classy girl, it ain't go by, you know, she don't got to know that you got money. If she classy, she going to want you for you. Not because what's in your pockets, not because what's in your pants. Simple as that. I can actually say that right away. You have not changed since money got him, bro. Look at all the people that's still around him, bro. People that's still around him today is the same people that was still around him when he was coming up. And, bro, it's just crazy because this man didn't change on his family. This man didn't change on his game. You feel me? He probably changed on the people that act like they supported him. But at the same time, this man didn't change on the people that really was down there supporting him, meeting in the studio with him day and night, saying that his music was wrong, this and that. This man still got them same niggas around from the hood, bro. Still make sure his dudes eat. These dudes going on tours with him, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of rappers, you don't see they homies, they, they homies with them. Now, they might be independent. They might be low, a solo dolo. But at the same time, bro, a lot of rappers do change because of money, bro. People do change because money will literally change you, bro. Real talk. Once you start getting money, you will forget about your fans or your supporters, however you want to call it. You will forget about them. You will just be making music. They will still support you, still be a fan of you, and you will just forget about them. Cause you got money. They they feeding you. They getting they paying your bills. Back, back the rules. Baby, be blanking, we can't. You don't know who to trust because all you got is yourself, bro. These people that you think you could trust, this and that, bro, don't trust them. Don't trust them because people bro, people will turn their back on you in a quick, in a blink of an eye, bro. Man. That song right there, straight bidding. Bro, y'all already know. Y'all already know how all these songs finna go. They all lit, bro. You think so, Rod? You think life will really be going in 2053? I don't know. 2053, how old would I be? Hey, Alexa. Never mind. I can't ask her that. 2053, though? Maybe. Fast, yeah. Keep it, yeah. For all my people that still out there grinding, man, look. You a young dude, woo woo, you just like me. You grind on YouTube, YouTube is your dream. You still grinding, keep going, bro. One day we gonna be at the top. I promise you, new generation, bro, we gonna take over YouTube, bro. The other generation, they had their chance, bro. They kind of blew it with all the beef and drama, bro. This new generation, we taking over YouTube, bro. Let's go ahead and go crazy, man. We finna go live our dream, bro. I promise you. We finna be riding around in Maseratis and McLarens and all types of stuff, bro. Come on. I'm give me hey. That song right there, same thing, same business, y'all already know. Song was good, bro. Song was definitely good. I said, already, already the madness, you know. Facts. God get his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers, bro. If you got something going on in your life, bro, and you can't handle that battle, remember, God's giving you that because, bro, he's not going to give you something that you can't handle, bro. You feel me? If he know you can't handle it, he not going to give it to you. I get so much hate on my YouTube videos, but at the same time, I just know God won't give me this platform. God won't even tell me, like, bro, you not going to make it. He won't do all this. If he knew I could handle it, bro. So that's what you got to start That's facts. 
rest our rest in peace to what's his name because this rap is dangerous it really is if you look at it bro a lot of people in the rap game done got killed been shot all types of stuff bro this rap stuff is very dangerous bro. you gotta watch what you say because people will take that to any consideration bro you can say something about vaughn or anything bro and people will think you dissing him you feel because he's dead you know what i'm saying so it's like bro this rap stuff is very dangerous bro very dangerous to so all the upcoming rappers, bro. Be careful for who you diss. Be careful for what you are, bro. Because if you're not really about that life and you just trying to do a song with the woo, people take this song stuff too serious, bro. That's why so many rappers done died over a diss track. I smoke. Even though it's... <sighs> bro. Why? Right. Right, bro. Hey. That's not me either, right? Wait, bro. I work a nine to five right now, bro. That's I just know it's not for me, bro. It's not something I hate going to that job, bro. Every single day, I gotta work. I hate going to that job, bro. But when it comes to YouTube, I'm on my own schedule. I just love doing this. This is what I love to do. That's how I know this was meant to be for me, bro. Do anything forever, thankful for that song. I'm already knowing it's in it. Like, we not even finished with that song, bro. Like I said, I can't keep playing a whole full song. But, dog, I love that song. Right? Like, I love all these songs, bro. I just know this is just a whole clean album. Yeah. I hate when, bro, I hate when females do it and try to put the blame on you because, bro, just because, I don't know, bro. Females always got the ten tendency to put the blame on a dude when really you could put the blame on your dang self. You could really be putting the blame on yourself, bro, because all this, half of the time, bro, it's not even a dude's fault that be hurting y'all, man. Y'all be hurting y'all selves, bro. Real talk. Y'all always want to blame y'all, period, this and that. Bro, it's not always because of y'all, period. It's not always because of y'all cycle. Real talk, but y'all always want to put the blame on us. Put the blame on yourself. Sit back and think like, dang, sometimes do I really be hurting him? Do y'all, do females ever sit back and think about that? Like, dang. Y'all don't never sit back and just think about us. Y'all just think about self all the time. That's so true. You had your mama, you had your pops, but all I had was you and you did me wrong, bro. You done had both of your parents in your life and all I did for you, like everything, bro. All I had was you, dude. All I got in my life is my mama. And then if your mama don't ever care for you, bro, she not really there in your life. All I really got as a female figure is you. But yet, you still putting the blame on me, still putting a toll on me, which makes me just want to blow out my brain sometimes. That's why I see why people smoke weed, because it gets them, it releases them from their stress. But I don't I don't really encourage all that weed smoking. No, I don't do all that, bro. But I'm just saying. Just a lesson and a story to tell. This man right away just keeps speaking, bro. Real talk, bro. Y'all hit the pain on my voice, man. I'm really hurt, bro. I'm really hurt. I got some stuff that I just want to vent to y'all about, but man, this is this video a whole hour long, bro. I got host, got some stuff I just need to get off my chest. But that song right there, man, I don't even got to say. Y'all already know. O M B D. Sometimes that do be hitting. Like out of all these dudes that's just in the trenches right now, God chose you, you in Pacific, to make it, bro. There's so many people still in these trenches struggling, still trying to still trying to chop up some bread for their family, man. But yet you from the trenches, came out the trenches, now you live in a dream that you always live that you always want to uh live. It's all about manifesting your dreams, praying on it, talking to Jesus, talking to God about it. He will let you know if this is really right for you. But you gotta put in that work also. You can't just sit around and just think hey, it's just gonna come out the sky like, oh, you gotta you gotta put in that work. Out of the pressure, did he just say he sold his soul to Satan? Maybe I'm Stay off the internet. This life ain't what it seems, bro. Even Rod Wave is telling you that. Stay off the internet. This is not what it seems. Everything you see on this internet, bro, it's not what they make it seem to be, bro. All these nice cars, all these booties shaking, all this and that. It's not what they make it seem, bro. These bloggers, these all this, these social media influence, bro, they only showing you the good things in life. Let them show you the bad things. Let them show you what you actually had to go through. Real talk. 
saying, nigga, that tooth they nose came and sent that's to me. Oh, why would he be speaking, bro? But y'all already know what we get that song, man. 10 out of 10. Last song on the list. Like I said, bro, I'm not going to really react to Tombstone or Street Runner. That's also on the album. But I already heard them two songs, bro. I don't want to get no fake reactions. We only going to do the new songs, man. So next thing, y'all know. That's facts. All they know how to do is, but nobody don't know how to make love. Now, that's the difference between effing and making love. Effing is, I'm going to eff you like a slut. I'm going to treat you like a slut and a sheep. You feel me? But making love is like, I'm loving you. I'm making love to you, kissing on you, doing crazy things to you. Just, you know, we just vibing. We got the slow jams playing. But effing you is, I'm finna turn on that. I'm finna turn on that Vaughn. Vaughn! Vaughn! And just go crazy. <laughs> and they be all in our business, tell them they can leave us alone. Facts, bro. That's the problem with this generation, bro. Y'all don't know how to mind y'all business, bro. Real talk. If I post if I post my girl forehead, bro, don't try to go research her forehead, bro. You're not going to find her forehead, bro. Simple as that. You can say, oh, her forehead look like this forehead, but it might not actually be that forehead. Y'all be in too much business. Why do my girl, why do my sneaky link got to bother with y'all? And you feel me? And if it's a sneaky link and you show somebody, it's not really a sneaky link. Because a sneaky link is somebody that you just effing and... They don't know about. You know what I'm saying? The world don't got oh, you know not the cheating on. Everybody be cheating, but don't nobody want to be cheated on. Bruh, bro. Why are you fucking talking? Everybody cheat, but nobody don't want to be cheated on. And that's facts, bro. Everybody done cheated before, but nobody want to accept the part where another person cheating on you bro because cheating really hurts the soul but it's all about karma and i don't believe in karma you feel me i'm not even gonna speak on karma because i don't believe in it i don't believe in it i don't even know why i said it but bro you can't cheat on somebody and not expect to get cheated back on bro you feel me if you get cheated on and you cheat on somebody bro now you finna feel the same pain that that person felt and if it's not by the same person whoever cheats on you you gonna feel that pain and you gonna see how stupid and dumb you look because sometimes when you get cheated on bro they make you look stupid it makes you look so retarded. You just looking at yourself like, ugh. Why me? Ugh. And, and you posting this man and this girl on Snapchat, all types of stuff, and you getting cheated on the whole time? My biggest fear is a is a dude texting me like, bro, why you posting my girl? And I'm and I'm thinking it's my girl the whole time. Watch out for these bops. Watch out for these these thought dudes. Because bro, everybody cheats. Everybody done cheated. I'm not gonna lie. I done cheated before. I done cheated in my past. But at the same time, I know how to love now. But I'm done with relationships because I don't got time to focus on the female, bro. I'm all about focusing on my dream and my goal. I ain't got time to keep calling and texting a female every day. I ain't got time for that at all. Too busy focusing on something that I'm chasing right now. Simple as that. But back to this, bro. Like I said, don't nobody know how to make love, bro. They only know how to F. All right, man. Well, that's the end of the album. We done react to every song on the album. Let me go ahead and turn back on the light, man. Um, oh, dang. We out of our depressed mode, man. We out of our depressed mode. Rod Wave had us feeling some type of way. You feel me? But dang, bro, that like bright, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like I'm I feel like a bat. But um, yeah, man. Uh, let me know what y'all favorite song is down below, bro. This this video done took some time, bro. So I you you know I pray that this video do good because this done took some time. But at the same time, I'm just having fun with this. I don't really care for the view. I'm just having fun with it. Um, anyways, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notification. I already know this is finna take some time editing. You feel me? I'm finna put some edit editing time. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah. Ride wave. You a goat. I'm finna go ahead and listen to the rest of these songs on my own time. The full song so I can get the end of part two. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Also follow your boy on IG. But I afraid to do, man. It's baby boy the band, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.